company that forayed into the Indian market to provide complete solutions for successful building of concrete machineries. We have with us Mr. Abraj Vettu Parampil, Managing Director of Masa Concrete Plants India Private Limited, who will brief us on the company and their offerings to the Indian market. Sir, so at the onset, uh, can you just introduce your company to us and what are the solutions you offer for the Indian market? Yes, we are a 110-year-old German company. We operate in more than 100 countries and uh, we have uh, established our operation in India in 2007. We, since then, our corporate office in India is in Bangalore and we now have our uh, regional office in Bombay and we are looking forward to have also the Delhi and Calcutta office established soon. We, we supply machines for uh, in the concrete uh, industry. We supply block plants, aerated concrete plants, fly ash plants, and also other plants which are of uh, within the within the uh, within the industry. We cater to the the, the premium segment of the uh, industry, and we have mass production machines which are which make high volume products. Uh, in this, uh, in this industry. When you say uh, fuel efficiency, when you talk about safety and all those aspects, so how are those incorporated in your machine? Well, in economics, yes, we, our machines, because of the high volume, it, it justifies the production cost compared to small-scale small manufacturing. And uh, in safety, we don't discriminate our machine depending on the country. Which means if, if, if I sell a machine in India, this is exactly the same machine we'll sell to Germany, America or any other part of the world. And, and we don't, safety especially, we don't want to compromise on safety. And this is why customers come to us because they get exactly the same machine get in any other country of uh, high quality products yet price effective. So how does uh, your company meet this requirement of the consumers? Yes, we, we operate in a very price sensitive market. So we have German solutions and also we have factories in Germany, factories in Korea, China and India. We, I'm establishing the, the factory in Bangalore now to make it uh, local and also save my customer locally which will be much cost effective. If customer want to have a bigger plant, a mass production plant, they still can source it from Germany. In Bangalore, we will have, a, we don't make two, one model in two places. So in Bangalore, we will have a machine called R250, which is a small block plant. And also this facility will help us in establishing all the projects we do in India by making Indian components for the other projects as well. We, we get local resources, the engineering, since we are a 110 year old company, we got all the engineering knowledge to do it. And this we don't compromise or make it local. What we local is the local, uh, the resources like people manufacturing the thing and also sourcing local material. But the, the for example, the spare parts we use, we use international brands like Siemens, Rexroth and all, which is in India, which is in any other part of the world. And the products we make in India is not just for India. It is also sold worldwide. So we make, produce in India and, and sell globally. Yes, yes, that's, that's why we can't just make for Indian standard or, or, or uh, you know, localized machine. And, and do you also have a research and development center here in India? We have, we have research and development center in Germany. We don't have, we're not at have in India. But as, as I mentioned to you, this is a 110 year old company. And uh, we have a team of uh, uh, research and development team who is engaged in the new products like eco-friendly products, say for example, AAC or fly ash blocks are eco-friendly products and how best we can utilize, we can integrate to the high demand of uh, uh, fly ash being generated in India, how we can consume to the best effect of the quantity as well as uh, the product which is going to make, which we have to ensure that that won't create a problem in the long term. Products which is coming uh, 
not in the pipeline, it is already launched and we have a big show called uh, Bauma Germany which will happen in the next couple of months and you for sure will see those products being launched up there. So here was Mr. Abraj giving us the details of his companies and their offerings for the Indian market.